Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup and today I'm very very excited because I actually bought my first Colourpop order in quite some time now and I did get the child palette so that is what I will be doing today. I'm going to show you some swatches and then I'm going to do this look that I'm wearing right here. This is how it looks like on the inside. I think it's a really beautiful color story. It's kind of muted but still colorful because it has uh, both some greens and it also has like this gorgeous burgundy brown shade and this peachy shade it has this minty tone and I think it's just a beautiful color story so that's why I finally decided to pick it up and for those of you who don't know I have actually been on a break from buying from Colourpop for quite some time now because they have not been very inclusive with their honestly their social media it's also their products they also always like release very very light face products and their palettes always have these dusty <laughs> shades so i have been on a break for so long and somehow i just decided like now it's the time to try them again um, but I'm not like 100% sure if I will continue to support them. I will just have to wait it out and see a little bit. I would love to hear your opinion on that down in the description box because I'm still like a little bit unsure about my purchase at all. <laughs> but I did end up p placing a couple of orders at the same time just to stay underneath the limit of uh, how much I have to pay taxes for. So I do also have some other products from Colourpop that I I'm receiving probably very soon since this just arrived before the weekend <laughs> but I am also going to show you guys two blushes that I got I got the Chase blush from one of like their Baroque I don't remember the name one of their earlier collections and then I also got one of the blushes from their Poppy collection called Foxy so I have two blushes and I've used both of them so you will just have to continue looking if you want to see which ones are on which side and how I feel about them. But anyway I'm super excited to be having this palette to play with today and I just really like Star Wars and the Mandalorian series and like the child is so cute I love Grogu he's just the cutest little thing eating his frogs <laughs> and yeah I think the color story is really cute so if you want to see the swatches then please keep on watching. So here I'm going to swatch out this gorgeous palette for you guys and I'm so excited because it looks so beautiful. So let's just start. So I'm just going to take a three and then swatch them all out. The shimmers feel really creamy actually, really beautiful. I'm going to turn down the lighting a little bit so you can see it just a tiny bit better. So here you can really see those beautiful shimmers. They're actually quite sparkly. Those are the first three and I'm going to build up all of them so that I can take some nice photos as well. Now for the second row here we have this gorgeous green which has some purple specks in it but it's not super visible. You could kind of see it in some of my photos that I did of the look but it's definitely not something you see a lot <laughs> and then this one is feeling a little bit chunky but also wet like the super chalk I mean you can see it a little bit in the pan as well it's very beautiful though and you can see just how textured and gorgeous and shiny it is Here you can also see the previous shades swatched out a lot bigger and they're really beautiful. Wow, this one swatches so much better than all the others. So pretty. So here we have the last row. This is the matte olive medium tone with silver glitter in it. Then it's this gorgeous deeper olive and the gorgeous deep burgundy brown shade. I really like these mattes. They're so pretty. I do, of course, wish that this one did not have those glitter specks, but that's just how it is. Um, I'm still very excited about them, and the matte with glitter specks also applied really beautifully on the lid, so that's what matters, right? You see, these swatch quite good to be this deep. Sorry, the lighting is changing a bit because of the sun outside. And here you can see those previous shades swatched out properly. So that 
gorgeous duochrome one is super super beautiful. So here I'm just trying to show you guys close up of the swatches so you can really see the texture and I'm using my phone to use the flash and show off the sparkles and potential duochrome. Um, duochromeness, is that a word? Now it is. <laughs> uh, of the shadows just because that's uh, mostly visible when you have an angled lighting situation. So here you can like see my phone. <laughs> so I really like these colors. Like obviously uh, the second shade here, that more silvery one, doesn't look that sparkly in the swatch. But honestly I felt like it was quite sparkly and shiny on the lid. And the first one as well. Then we have this gorgeous peachy shade. It's a medium peach, especially on me because I'm very, very fair. I do hope that this palette would work on a deeper skin tone as well because as you can see, those two shades there that are the deepest mattes are quite deep. Um, but I might be mistaken because like on me, of course, the shadows will of course transfer very, very deep because I have such a pale skin tone. But I do think that this is a palette that could work good for deeper skin tones as well. Um, then we have that green shimmer. I don't feel like that is very special. It does have some purple sparkles. I'm hoping that you might see that right now. I'm not able to see that on my monitor. But you might be able to see that in the finished <laughs> clip when I have edited this. And you have it on a big screen. But it's really not visible for me at least. Then it's a gorgeous... Um, Gorgeous mint green matte. I really like that one. It's very pale though and it didn't really show up too <laughs> Too dark on me, but I didn't also pack it on too much So I think that you can definitely build it up and then of course, it's like the star of the show It's that <laughs> duochrome shimmer with a warm base and a greenish gold shift That is super beautiful I would definitely try to use that without glitter glue first because it is super creamy then we have that olivey toned green which has a lot of like gray silvery sparkles to it and they're everywhere now you can see it even in the last two mattes so you will have glitter fallout with that shade which i don't really love but i mean it's workable <laughs> and yeah i just really love the colors of those mattes like all the mattes in this palette they're super beautiful and i feel like they did a great job picking out the color story for this one I just would have preferred a little bit more sparkle in the shimmers. That's that's all I have to say. <laughs> but now that you've seen the swatches, let's move on to the look that I created using this palette. So here you can see a close-up of this gorgeous, gorgeous palette. It has so many beautiful shades and it does actually have some really nice depth for me, especially since I'm so fair. So I'm really, really liking that. And as you might have already seen in my intro, I'm going for a halo eye. So I'm going to be using all of these greens right here. And I'm just going to start out with the deepest shade. And then I'll of course use that uh, sparkly green uh, or the sparkly matte green. And then I'll use the shade baby face to blend out. And for the shimmers, I'm going to use the greens for the middle. And then for the lower lash line, I'll use the reds. So for the shimmers, I'm going to do what I just did right here. And I just ended up using this one for the inner and outer lid. Then I blended it in with this more silvery green. And then I put this one on the middle of the lid, which turned out to be much more yellow than I thought, but still like super beautiful. So I already have my Glam Shop Glam Glue. It's just a glitter glue. And then I'm taking this green shimmer, which is not like super special to me. It does have a few purple specks to it which might come uh, more to sight or like be more visible when I do my close-up but I don't really see it that much right here. Um, but it's, it's a beautiful shade, it's just not my uh, particular preference. Uh, so now I'm just going to take that uh, right hand Amanda which is a silvery green shade and this one is much more sparkly <laughs> like look at that impact it's so beautiful i really really like this shade and for that lightest super shock shadow i'm taking this smaller brush just because i noticed that 
it would get staining from the other brush just because the other shimmers are t slightly darker so i want to avoid that so i am just using this small small brush and just applying this everywhere this is also quite sparkly and very beautiful in my opinion <laughs> and then i'm also taking this shimmer and kind of just dispersing it a little bit around the edges of where i just put the other shimmers just to kind of get a more messy look and have not such precise lines because i just prefer it not to be like super like triangular and very sharp so i'm taking that same brush and i'm just going to add this straight into like right here in the lower lash line just to have a really like to find lower lash line i'm going to blend it up with this and i'll add a little bit of this maybe just in the middle or something we will just have to see but i'm just going to uh, apply this gorgeous burgundy shade just here i don't think i'm going all the way to the inner lower lash line but i'm just going to like slightly blend it together with the greens on the outer corner here then i'm taking just like a tatooine As you can see, these performed really nicely. I did already set my concealer, so these are basically on a dry base. So that is really good that they performed this nicely. So I'm excited about that. Um, this shade, The Force, does look almost like a super shock because you can see like how foiled and wet it looks. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just try to use my little finger and not add any glitter glue. It doesn't look super opaque on my finger, but I do see it there. So I'm just trying to like get it in the middle right there. I do really like it when I have this triangular shape up there to have it also here on the lower lash line. Just something like this. And I'm of course going to go ahead and use that uh, lightest shade. I'm sorry if you hear all the clicking, but my boyfriend is playing Dota very aggressively right now. But I'm just taking the lightest shade in the palette as my inner corner highlight. And I'm also not using any glitter glue for this one just because it is a super shock. So then it should be sticking to the skin without any kind of adhesive. So that is the finished look. So I'm going to put on some lashes, mascara, and... Ooh, I forgot. I actually have two blushes from Colourpop that I just got in the same order. So I really want to try both of them, really. So I'm just going to zoom uh, you out a little bit and I'll use one on each side. So the two blushes that I got are the Colourpop Chase um, <laughs> blush. It's from their uh, collection with like the Baroque palette that I really wanted and stuff. And this is kind of like a peachy orangey one. And the other one that I got is also that. This is from the Poppy collection. It's called Foxy. So you can see that they are relatively similar, but this one is a little bit more pink. This is a little bit more orange and this one does also have sparkles to it so i'm going to start with chase first so i think i will just use it on this side since that's where i held it up so it seems to be picking up quite easily here i already did my bronzer and contour it's a quite light blush though so i'm picking up some more yeah i really like this color it's super pretty perfect for warmer toned looks and spring and summer I've just been on such a peachy blush kick lately, peach and oranges. I just think it's so beautiful. So I think that's how much I want to apply. I don't really need much more. I usually don't apply that heavy of a blush, but you can definitely see the difference from this side where I don't have anything. So now I'm dipping into Foxy right here. Oh, that picks up so much more. I'm going to have to dab it off on my hand. And then most of it went away when I did that. Yeah, you can definitely see this is a little bit more orangey. I really like this as well. The color is beautiful. Mm. I feel like the other one was maybe even easier to blend, but I mean, it does blend really nicely too. And I'm just going to look in the mirror to see. Yeah, I can definitely see the shimmers a little bit, but it's not very apparent so i do really like that wow this is looking super orange in real life i love that color <laughs> so here you have chase and here you have foxy so they're very very similar 
I probably wouldn't have needed both of them, but like the packaging of Chase makes me want that more. <laughs> and it's actually a little bit more product in this one. It's almost double actually, so that's kind of insane. I did not expect that. But yeah, I don't even think I have to apply both of them on both sides because they are so similar and I'm not even going anywhere. So that's it. I'm going to put on some highlighter. I think I will just use one of my super sharp highlighters since I haven't used them in forever. And I'll show you the close-up of this look right here. So that was the close-up of this look that I'm wearing right here and honestly I really like this color store. I feel like this would be a perfect everyday um, palette for me because it does have greens which I love so much and they're relatively muted and you do have this deeper green and you also have some lighter ones and you just have a really nice variety. I would have probably changed out maybe this green here with something more sparkly if it was up to me. But other than that, I think that this is a very nicely curated color story and the shadows performed really nicely. So I'm very happy about that. And I'm excited about the look that I created and I would love to do some more looks because you can do like a two-toned look with this one for the outer crease, then this one for the inner crease and you can blend them out with their transition shades and you can just use this one for example on the whole lid that would be so gorgeous because I love these kind of greeny golds with a warm base and yeah there's just a lot of different things you can do with this. For my lips I ended up using my Colourpop lippy pencil is that what it's called? Lippy pencil? Lip? It's lip liner in BFF3 and then I used it in combination with my ginger liquid lipsticks from Melt Cosmetics which I just felt like went really nicely with the burgundy shades of the palette and of course then also with the greens because they match really nice. My highlighter is the Colourpop Flexitarian Super Shock highlighter which I haven't used in a long time but it's really beautiful highlight Light. It's a little bit like chunky compared to some other highlights that I have but it does give you a really nice sheen and I do really love how it looks. But that's it for this video. I hope that you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did like the video and I would also really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel if you like my content and you want to see more of it. But thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye!